Imagine visibility conditions so bad that you can't even see your own feet. And I tell you, you have to land a 400 ton airplane traveling at over 250 kilometers an hour exactly on the center line of a 45 meter wide runway and you have to make it a smooth landing. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is very much possible. This is your boy Tapesh Kumar and this is Cockpit Stories, episode 2. We all know visibility can be really bad at times. It could be because of fog, it could be because of rain, sandstorms, dust storms, snowstorms, or you could be living in Delhi. The pollution the visibility is not So any of these reasons, do we not let airplanes land on runways? We can't do that. So we had to find out a way just say we could land our airplanes on the runway very safely and very efficiently even when the visibility conditions were really really bad. To do that, we developed two technologies. Number one is known as ILS, Instrument Landing System and number two is known as Automatic Landing Systems. So today, I'm gonna be telling you how they work and how we as pilots use them. So guys, if you think the content is good and if you think I deserve a subscribe then please do subscribe to the channel. Also, subscribe to the channel, so give a Thank you. So first let's talk about ILS. ILS is a system which is installed on the ground. It sends out radio waves and those radio waves are received by the airplane and those radio waves tell the aircraft if it is exactly on the extended runway center line and if it is exactly on the vertical path that is supposed to follow. So ILS mein do antennas hote hain. One is a localizer antenna. This antenna sends out beams and it gives the aircraft guidance in the lateral plane. So it basically tells the airplane if it is exactly on the extended runway center line or if the airplane is to the left or to the right of the runway center line. The other antenna is a glide slope antenna. This antenna again sends out radio waves and these radio waves tell the aircraft and the pilot if the airplane is exactly on the intended vertical track, above or below the intended vertical track. So if you know you are above, below or to the left or the right, you can make the corrections and be on exactly the three dimensional path that you are supposed to follow all the way down to the runway. Now ILS has a few categories, five in total, CAT1, CAT2, CAT3A, CAT3B and CAT3C. CAT1 is the lowest category of ILS, which means it is the least accurate. CAT3C is the most accurate. However. No airport on this earth is CAT3C and I want you guys to guess why no airport on this earth is CAT3C. I'll give you a small hint, CAT3C allows the pilot to land with zero visibility, absolutely zero visibility. However, no airport across this earth as of now is CAT3C. If you guys know or if you can guess, write it down in the comments below. So the highest category of ILS that we as pilots use is CAT3B. CAT-3B allows the pilot to land the aircraft in just 50 meters visibility. That is it. 50 meters and you can land the airplane. Now the other system which is very necessary for landing in low visibility conditions is known as automatic landing system. This is a system which is installed on the aircraft and it lets the aircraft follow the ILS signals all the way down to the runway and then the system will flare the aircraft. Flare matlab, it reduces the rate of descent of the aircraft before touchdown so that you can have a smooth landing and then it maintains the runway center line after landing and brings the aircraft to a complete stop. This type of system lets the airplane land onto the runway without the pilot touching anything in the cockpit. The pilots do not touch the controls, they do not touch the throttles. The airplane does everything on its own and it does a fully automatic landing. 
तो ना यू माइट आस अगर जहाज लैंड भी खुद को कर रहा है फ्लेयर भी खुद कर रहा है रन वे सेंटर लाइन भी खुद मेंटेन कर रहा है रन वे पे रुक भी रहा है खुद से तो पायलट क्या कर रहा है नॉर्मली हम कॉफ़ी पी रहे होते हैं बट सीरियसली वी जस्ट सिटिंग देयर एंड वी जस्ट मॉनिटर दैट एवरीथिंग इज वर्किंग फाइन दी ऑटो पायलट आर वर्किंग फाइन दी ऑटोमेटिक ब्रेकिंग सिस्टम इज वर्किंग फाइन एंड देर आर नो फेलियर्स है That's all we as pilots do in automatic landings. We just sit there and we monitor everything is working fine. If anything goes wrong, then the pilots will take over. But till the time nothing goes wrong, everything is working perfectly fine. We just sit there, we monitor everything, and the aircraft does everything all the way from following the ILS glide path and the localizer to flaring, touching down, following the runway center line, and stopping on the runway. everything is automatic so to do an automatic landing in low visibility conditions three things have to be satisfied number one is the pilots have to be trained to aisa nahi hai ki any pilot can just get up go to the aircraft and start landing in 50 meters visibility we have proper very special training in the simulator jahan hum sim mein baithte hain and we practice a lot of approaches like a lot of approaches with a lot of failures in simulated low visibility conditions the second thing you require is the airport has to be certified for low visibility operations what that means is the airport should have an ils which is either cat 2 or cat 3 and the airport should have a certified low visibility procedures so it's basically a list of procedures which are to be applied when the visibility drops below a particular value in india currently we have five airports which are cat 3b so one is delhi amritsar lucknow Jaipur and Calcutta. So these five airports, all in the north of India, यहाँ पर fog काफी ज़्यादा होती है. These five airports in India have been made turned into Cat 3B airports. And finally, the aircraft should be certified for low visibility operations. What that means is, the manufacturer has made the aircraft to be working perfectly fine in low visibility operations, and the regulator has certified that the airplane is authorized to operate in low visibility conditions. Also, there should not be any failures on the aircraft which affect the automatic landing system, so that the airplane can do an auto land and can land on the runway. So that is basically how we do an automatic landing in low visibility conditions. We have an automatic landing system which is helped on by the instrument landing system, and both of them combine and they guide the airplane down all the way to the runway. While we as pilots sip our coffee and talk to the crew. Well, that's pretty much about it for today, guys. I hope you guys got to learn something new, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop in a like. Do let me know in the comments what other kind of cockpit stories you want to see. Till then, this is your boy Tapesh Kumar signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one.